Yeah. Fuck ship, starship, come ship, and it was Ram Ram's two sixty. Dot XXX. It was two sixty three. I don't know that. Docked out on the range of Ram Ram's. The fuck ship, the come ship, the starship, and what do you need? Is there a way just to keep the fan on? I'm sure there is. Yeah. Oh. I actually gonna take shit though, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd be like using the zoomed in lens, like, just sitting here like this, and, like the top angles and stuff. What'd you say about Marino? I'm getting a free massage. That's incredible. Yeah, that's not what you said. <laughs> I said something about it. He's penetrating your soul. Thank you. That was very nice. Okay, let me Shit, there's nothing in any particular order. I'll try and remember, but uh, I got Revolt at a game store like Friday when we all went to game stores. Uh, PlayStation 1 version, because the one that Reno gave me a couple years ago for Christmas didn't have the original case, and this one does. Uh, from the convention, I picked up Super Metroid Project Base ROM hack from Retro Circuits, one of our favorite vendors there. It's very good shit. I don't know what ROM hack that is in particular, but uh, I'm hoping it's good. So originally, Marino picked this up and then he wound up not needing it, so I bought it from him. So I got a Warsaga, except the code doesn't work for the uh, two PSP games, but honestly, I'm okay with that. Also, if I'm a little bit either bland or different, I've had two beers, so I'm pretty relaxed. I got a box for Extreme G. Just a box. Oh wait, no, it has a manual, doesn't it? It doesn't. It's just a box. But the innards and a postcard thing. What you laughing at over there, Becky boy? No, you know. Why would you do that? What, what, what did you? <laughs> that actually scared me. I wasn't expecting that. That scared you? That's yeah. So Picked up a uh, NES cleaning kit. I already had the other two for SNES and N64. I did not know they made one as far back as the NES with the same exact branding and packaging. So I'm actually really happy to own a set for all three because these work for me, they work the best. I would have put that in my mouth, but it's really dirty. I got a golf ball. I'm going to play mini golf. Got a Wii U Pro Controller, because I haven't had one ever in my entire life of having a Wii U. Whoa, how long have I owned a Wii U? Since I've known you. Like Around 16, maybe. 15? Maybe 15 or 16. It's been a hot minute. Yeah, I've never owned a Wii U Pro Controller, so I finally have one. Got it for like $21. Uh, we'll drop these in here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Norm was at the convention, gaming historian. So I got a signed uh, journal for him. It's just like to jot stuff down. Honestly, I think that's a pretty neat idea because it's something he could sell for not too expensive, but like still merchandise. And it's, well, shit. This one's yours, bud. Yours is right here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. He personalized them for us, which was really sweet. Fucking love Norm. Yeah. Oh. So thanks, Jordan, or to Jordan, thanks for watching. I think that's what it says. Yeah, to Jordan, thanks for watching. That's, no, yeah, Norman Caruso. God, just, it's beautiful. Love it. Makes me happy. <laughs> uh, at one of the video game stores, probably a game over video games. That's what Mario 64 guy does. Or the official guide, player's guide from Nintendo, which has a slip in it that's like, oh, what is this? Poster? Yeah, Wave Race 64, that's neat. And, oh wow. Inventory of areas, shit. That's pretty good. Damn. Alright. That's actually nice that it has that with it. So yeah, that's there. Uh, Patrick found this for me. This is a uh, Metroid Prime Hunters Nintendo Power. I think I might have it, 
but I'll check when I get home. If I don't, good. If I do, oh well. I uh, picked up a certain SNES guidebook from Pat Contry, aka Pat the English Pump. And he already had them pre signed, so I'm looking for his uh, signature in here, wherever he signs it. I honestly don't know where he signs it. Check the back. The back? Uh, the back cover. Where would. Why, why would you not sign it on, like, the first major page? Where is a signature? So, so I got it for Ben, the thing. It's, it's for my good buddy, Benjamin Franklin, a.k.a. Vid Sigma 169 and Knuckles. Check yours to see if it signs. It is. Where's, his, where's your signature at? It's, like, right in, like, the beginning thing. Ooh, that was a good shit. Nice. It's right where? I am beginning here. So if you like. Second page in. Oh, second page in. So then. Yeah. This is signed right here. What? You can't even fucking see. Where? What? Are oh, you saying that's where it's out on Patrick's? That's where it's out on Patrick's. Oh, well, he didn't sign this one. Though. Dude, you might have gotten the super rare unsigned copy. <laughs> Worth more when it's not signed. Yeah. What a fuck. He didn't even sign it. It was supposed to be signed for Ben. Whatever. He'll be uh, yeah. well, we didn't check. So. Speaking of Ben, I also got on this Dragon Ball Z, uh, like, best of the card game, it looks like. So it's like, just information on the card game. Pretty cool. Jordan. Jordan. Oh, is there something wrong with that? Is it Who did that? <laughs> it's Patrick. I think it was Shitter Boy over here. I got this very large Metroid Dread poster. Metroid. Is that even in the shot? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I got a very large Metroid Dread poster from one of the game stores we went to. Very dreadful. I'm very excited over that. Uh, I got a Retro Plaza, Houston, uh, Dallas, I mean, uh, 2022 weekend. I got some cool Game Chasers cups, got some golf balls in them. I like blood dripping down this shit. It's really cool. And I got a blockbuster VHS tape that is just the adventure of the game chasing. The actual full movie on the VHS tape. And he like recolor corrected them and added effects to make it look like a 80s like classic movie. That's so cool, dude. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Yeah. I, I, I'd like to watch it myself if I had a Player, player, you know? Yeah, and it's got. I got it signed by the main characters of the movie and the cast. So Billy, Jay, Eric, Chief, and uh, Dave. Uh, Greg, Nick, and Travis, Gary, Eric, and Dave. Yes. Captured. I got these three. I don't know how well they're in shot. I'll pick each one up. Very well in shot. Little figure, like pixel art figures for uh, Super Metroid Samus. So and we got. The various suit. I mean, sorry. We got the power suit. We got the various suit, and we got the gravity suit. And they're just all absolutely beautiful. Uh, I got those along with a bunch for like Marino. And Patrick got one thing from them as well. But yeah, just Marino, I think. So. Right. Yeah. I saw you do something. What did you do here? What did you find here? Holy shit! How did you find? When did you find that? Yeah. Hey, when did you find that? Did you see him get this? No, I know exactly. Well, like, was it at that same Japanese booth that sold all this shit? Or was it just some random person? Holy shit. Nice. All right. What is it? It's so expensive. Me? It's it like, didn't used to be. It used to be like 30 bucks, 20, 30 bucks. Even that, that's not imports so, for usually. They usually are, but Super Metro has gone up in price. God, look at the fucking label on that. What is it, Jordan? Tell us. Tell it's the camera. Super Metro on Super Famicom, a.k.a. the SNES. <laughs> What's that game about? Well, it's about Samus Aran. Uh, she was sent to the planet uh, Zebus to uh, infiltrate and destroy the space pirates who are trying to resurrect and, and clone Metroids and use them as a a, a, a bioweapon to dominate the universe. <laughs> oh man, that's fucking awesome. Wow. 
I wasn't expecting that. Shit, thank you, Patrick. Isn't he such a great boyfriend? He is, he really is. Wait a minute. <laughs> and then, I think the last thing that I got. No, nope. I got this along with those pixel arts. Little. Ooh, that was really nice. Yeah, little little thingy, canvas art. God, it looks really good too. Ooh, if I put like a light behind it. Yeah. Man, that would look nice. Like maybe like just a light in here to like illuminate, I don't know. I guess if it's LED, it won't create heat. Right, yeah, no, if it's a cheap, basic, small LED light. Oh, shit. I also picked up a, a four terabyte hard drive. Did uh, you show, did show the big thing? Not yet, I'm about to. It's in frame. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, a four terabyte uh, Seagate hard drive from one of those game stores, which honestly is a fucking lifesaver. When I've been able to transfer stuff off my phone if I didn't get it. Bless you. Bless you. And then last but not least, it's, uh, it's here. It's, I'm gonna unplug the controller so I don't have to do anything. I had to get an extra controller for it, but uh, my very own Xbox Series S. It even has the price tag. Yes. Thanks to Marina for finding it for me and telling me to get it. Because holy shit, that is a good deal. Come on, get it for Well, the price tag is on the front there, but I got it for $150. We've been testing it all night. We've got it playing lo-fi girl, staring at the cat and the window that keeps ripping ass. <laughs> Dude, you should just keep that sticker on there for as long as you can. Yeah. You should, you should laminate it on there. Yeah. Maybe. And then laminate Marino's face over it. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, nope. Sorry. I also got a PlayStation bag from one of the game stores. This is really cheap. Dirty. I'm going to wash it up. But it's just like a really good like laptop type bag in general. And a really beat up, nasty, gross N64 saddlebag thing. Why did you put a tripod? But I got it for really cheap as well. So <laughs> I'm going to wash it. I'm going to trim it up. I make it look good. And I like those bags. I actually use them is the thing. So it's a it's a cross between these two, like the Xbox and this for my favorite shit that I picked up now. Cause it was the Xbox one without like hands down or Xbox Series S. Hands down. Now this is this is with it. Regardless, I'm very happy. Got a lot of good shit. And uh it's a great way to stay in shape. Looking forward to to fucking. Thank you, Beck, for being cameraman and keeping an eye on my shit. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. All on right. to next. Ah. No, no. Did you, you ripped ass on me. I tried <laughs> to do <laughs> it. I really tried to, but I was like, no. Let Dude, me game out. Patrick was making it way more interesting. That was very nice. Yeah, yeah that was pretty good. I like that. Everybody give it up for Patrick Peterson. Now. I'm going to break this chair. <laughs> mm. Man, fuck Nudger Fire Team. I'm going to kick that motherfucker's ass for this goddamn you can a pussy boy. Also appearing the hottest Twitch streamer on the planet. So welcome back to haul video number 2022. I don't fucking know many of these shitty things I've done in my past life. I've been reincarnated. I don't know how many I've done these shitty videos. Oh, yeah. Too many. It's currently fireplace o'clock in October of 2022 in uh, Austin, Texas here. Where we are currently located at. I would name the pizza place, but I forgot and I don't care to look it up because I'm mean, a sick fuck. Today's sponsor, Whataburger Spicy Ketchup. We are miniature golfing and the next day we went to the mall. Uh, fuck if I remember what it is. Jordan kept saying it's the Katie Mills Mall and it was getting annoying. So yeah, that was the Grapevine Mills Mall. Grapevine Mills Mall. It's it's a, a sister Katie mall. Mills. It's it's the Katie it really Mills. was a sister mall. It's the Katie, Katie Mills. Katie Mills, he said. The Katie Mills. It was. Everyone bought stuff. I bought a shirt. For a more beef For shit. I bought coffee there. You did buy something in the mall establishment. That was a coffee. And then also in that 4A, I bought the best character in the Death Note. Ryuk. Yes, Ryuk. That has like little death metal symbols, like right in here. 
and he's the best character in the show, and I will not have any other way. And I'll be joined today with the rest of these pickups, gaming-wise, with the Elpy Grotus. Elpy Grotus, the, the frogs right here, yeah. Yes. And then I bought this, out of all places, at the Nebraska Furniture me. Store. How's that team feeling? Far, far, we went out of a shitty finish, giant furniture store. I didn't call it shitty, it's massive, and there's a lot of things that's expensive. We got <laughs> two in one guidebook. Karima. Mm -hmm. Pressure the game over video games. So, two in one is goaded with the sauce. They'll never bring back the goaded weapon ever because everybody's scared. And then, uh, one of the game stores, I forgot what it was, it was like the first one we went to. I got. That would be All Stars uh, official Prima guide. For like three dollars, was like half off, so it's like a dollar fifty. And I don't know why it shaped like a calendar. It just goes like this. It's very neat. Now, this was that game over. I think game over. Yeah. Yeah, game over. We got WrestleMania 2000. Another game goaded with the sauce, where it has uh, in-depth information about the characters. And I got this along with the other all WWE All Stars. And I got Day of Reckoning 2 at the same store for like half off, so like five bucks. Because, like, oh, look at these nice characters and their special moves and whatnot. What's it called again? Uh, WWE Day of Reckoning 1 and 2. I forgot what the story went to. Yes. I got this weird looking thing. It's apparently the Bradley games. Brady. 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 Yeah, Brady Bradley, same difference. Of Diddy Kong Racing. That's a really weird thing. I don't know, it just looks very weird. I'm pretty sure the Prima guy looks like, way nicer than this because it kind of looks like... I'll it's... take you a picture of it when I get home because I've got one. Oh, sure. Because this just reeks of early 90s, like somebody opened up paint and just did fucking weird text and stuff. I got the Brady games, uh, Sonic Generations, uh, Retribution games. The Sonic Generations is still one of my favorite Sonic games. It's easily top five for sure. And I got new Super Mario Bros. Wii. Uh, I have a lot of fond memories of this game. I was like, why not get the guidebook to tell us where all the infuriating star coins are at? Mario Party 8. Yeah, I don't know, that's game over video games. Underrated Mario Party game. Game over again, I got Mario Party 9 where things started to go downhill a little bit. Let me see if I can find you one. They're both the Prima Guide version. Uh, let me see if I can find... Yeah, right here. This little thing right here. This is where it started going downhill because of this fucking cart. The world ends with you. That's a great song. It's a uh, Brady official strategy guide. I've never played this game, but I keep hearing good things about it, like the DS and then the Switch remaster, whatever the hell it is, they ported there. No, no, that was game over. This is also game over. I was a Budokai. One of the first PlayStation 2 games I had. A long time with Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Way back in the day, brother. Alright, I found everything. Uh, pre convention, my buddy Beck brought down a Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Special Edition because he accidentally ordered two because buying on the Nintendo site is the worst fucking thing you can imaginably do. I can't wait to play it. It's funny, I'm only missing the Xenoblade 1 Definitive Edition, so if I ever find it, I'll buy it. I think that's it for pre stuff. So now let's get to the meat and potatoes of the convention. The life water. Technically, the first thing I bought got a Retro Plus was this free pin because I saw my hat. My hoops three on three with a badly compressed JPEG. It looks good from afar, but if you look up to it, it's like, yeah, it's kind of crusty, but I didn't pay for it, so it's not cool. You know it's crusty when even Patrick knows it's crust. But I know what I know what bad quality stuff can look like. <laughs> and then as for that tradition, I bought the shirt theme. Which I thought this was eventually game change because I saw everyone wearing it and I looked close and I'm like, oh no, that's a thing of the convention. Adventures in game chasing. Close the nine, bro. I should probably put this thing on. We can pass barcode, which is a very smart thing they did because we kept probably bitching about it. And one of the last few things I bought, I'm just going from the first to one of the last, I bought a zero standy that like everyone else had. So he's going to be chilling with me right here. Get this out of the way since they've been in the frame forever again. Game, official Game Chasers glasses, which I have a regular one with no blood, which is a green, blue or lettering. This one's black, black blood splatter, and this one's dripping blood. It's funny, we, it's funny, like, we saw, like, I'm pretty sure it was just this out and about, like, yeah, we'll buy that. I was like, oh, do you have any more? Yeah, sure. He pulls, like, another one of this, buy it, ready to leave. He grows this, like, oh, there's another one we gotta buy it. And Billy just 
I was looking up. I was shocked and I was like, what the fuck are you doing part of this in Houston? Like, I don't know, you never had it out, so we didn't know it was there. And I'm pretty sure we had like another person behind us buy it right after we left, so. Speaking of movies, since we're on the topic of Mr. Billy Chance, <clears throat> we have a VHS of Games and Adventures Game Chasing. Uh, you probably saw Jordan's Hall. We got Sign for the People, the movie, Chief, Jay, Eric, Billy, Game Dave, and Gearhead, those two of the villains. But what not, nice blockbuster video. In Perry, Texas. I'm pretty sure I won't be surprised if, they, if this was the address that they worked at. And same with Jordan. Might as well get the duplicates out of the way. We got personally signed autograph of the gaming historian uh, notebook. They could get they could write notes in it. It'll be good. Keep track of what games you need to buy if you want to go old fashioned. So at, at one of the pit tables, I bought SmackDown 2 and your Roll. We'll call this one of the top five wrestling games of all time, and uh, it's hard to very hard to disagree. It's a very good game. Look, it's just it's biography and looking at what moves they can do. The Brady games, the Brady Bunch version. Best Gears of War game. Don't at me. Here we have Pokemon Gym uh, Elite Four of the Gen Four. Everyone's calling it the best generation of all time. Which I think it's okay. It do be up there though. And again, I re there wasn't really a whole generation. It's the badges. Yes, the B4 gym badges of uh, like Nick really and Travis, Gavin, Eric, and Daniel. You didn't really show them. Oh yeah. shit! And so you had it upside down and showing it like that, you whore. You didn't do that. Bull fucking shit. Everyone's calling it the best generation of all time. If I now everybody, if Jordan, if right. I did this and Jordan didn't see it. He owes five. Like he owes five community subs to right, uh, the channel of Nunchified Entertainment on Twitter.com forward slash Nunchified Entertainment. Nunchy Killer Industries. What a piece of shit company that was. I hope that fucking company never comes back. You know, I wish it would come back. Because the grand trilogy is a grand another game. Of this wonderful trilogy here. So you should zoom the camera. Out. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not. Everything else has been a frame, but I zoomed it back in at some point for a little bit. Now, yeah. go to with the sauce, as the young kid would say. Spyro the Dragon, Spyro 2 of Dojo H, and Spyro Year of the Dragon, because it came out in Year of the Dragon. I don't know why they never put the three on there as a subtitle. But this is the trilogy, and I wish they'd make a sequel. I know I stuck to G stuff, picked up a few things like Wacky Races for the Dreamcast. Or oh, that's Wacky. Yeah, that's Wacky. And I just bought it because I was like, Anson might find this funny because he likes the show because he's a boomer and likes old boomer shows. And then I picked up uh, probably an okay decent game and I picked up a fucking trashy one. Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero because if this game did well, they would have done this for the other probably Scorpion decks, but the game was fucking bad, so they canceled it. And the other plants were things like that, but they did have one that's sorry, Jack's Special Forces was just way worse. And then I got picked up Resident Evil Code Veronica. <laughs> Code Veronica. This one, this two for the Dreamcast. Here, hands me. Jordan's gonna fix it off camera. Or make an attempt to. Oh shit, no, it's broken. Yeah, yeah, it's broken, broken. And then I picked up two copies of Final Fantasy VIII for the PlayStation. So we're gonna be careful with this. Final Fantasy VIII, more like Final Fantasy Not So Great. I don't say that. <laughs> this message was brought to you in part by the Final Fantasy 16. No. We have the best Final Fantasy. Yeah. So I got disc one, disc two. That's three and four. Man, I remember when games you had to have four discs to play it, beat it. RPGs are quirky, but I can have day. Have a good day. Thank you. So I bought Cool World made by Ocean out of Game Day was selling it. So I'm like, here, you're a cool guy. I didn't say hi to you, so I'll buy your game for like, I don't know, I think it was $15. Next up, we got Final Fantasy 3, before I actually got for, well, it says 75, but I'm pretty sure I got like a couple bucks off because I bundled it with the Spyro stuff and a few other things. I also picked up a Retro Circuit, Dinosaur Planet, the unreleased game for Rare on the 64 that stars Crystal, and then a certain blue, a certain regular fox that uh, Shigeru Remote is like, nah, move that to the GameCube, I got a box you can use. And it became Star Fox Avengers, a very controversial game, which I like, not a lot of people do. Retribution is sticking with it. I have, I have the Final Fantasy Collection of Final Fantasy 4, Final Fantasy 5, Final Fantasy 6, and Final Fantasy 60. 
Eternal Crystals and Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. It's red and black. That's very nice and cool. I got Super Bomberman Legacy 1 through 5 because the Bomberman games I suck at them, but are they? But they are fun for me. I'm just fucking garbage dog shit out of them. And then you get weird stuff like this, like Super Luigi RPGs and the Legend of the Seven Stars Power and Legend of the Seven Stars Star Power. That's a weird way to say it, but yeah. I found a funny because I'm like, oh, imagine if it's just Luigi and Daisy and a few other things change. That's it. That's how I like the game. I like Super RPGs. I like Top 10, Super 10 games all time. And I have Green 64 cart. Rayman, two in the greatest state. I already had it on Dreamcast, and have it on 64, and the green card was just talking to me. Next, we have some handheld Game Boy stuff here. Which one of the first things I, I bought at Game Wise was Donkey Kong Land. Because I was like, sitting at George Pound, and Griffin and Beck and Verena were just talking like, oh, by the way, I bought some stuff. I was like, I spent $20 so far. It was in like the first hour and a half, because we were, we were panels and whatnot. Speaking of Don Kong Land, I also got Don Kong Country. Not the not the version of Mill that's played. He played the Super Nintendo version. This is the handheld version, which makes me wonder what the difference is between <laughs> Land and Don Kong Country. So I'm assuming they're both relatively similar, so it'll be interesting to compare those. Next up we got Wario Blast. Featuring uh, Bomberman. Uh, I'm assuming it's, I'm under the impression it might be like a Wario Woods, like it was for the NES and Super Nintendo, just a different name with Puzzle mechanics and bombs. Plus, we need to try out. And then I have here the Castlevania Adventure for the Game Boy. Because Castlevania's poggers, and I think this game's okay. Could be wrong, could be dog shit, but who knows. It's Game Boy, it's gonna be limited. And I found a game I never thought I would hear or heard of was even on a Game Boy until I saw it. That's Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. I have the same name for 64, and I think Goemon's second quest is called on the N64 as well. Expensive. I got a twenty dollar emerald, which means yes, it is a repro. But I don't care. I, at this point, I just want to buy the games if they're there and they're cheap. Then fuck it. It'll serve the same purpose as me playing it. But what it was legit and that I bought, nice, slick, and working. My favorite Pokemon game, no cap. Oh God, Pokemon Crystal. Beautiful game, and that's mainly because of the Pokemon Two Thousand movie. You like very it? strong ref. Yeah, I've had a very you strong. You like Entei? Yeah, I like Entei. My favorite dog. Would you like to intake these nuts in your mouth? Yeah, come here. Let's get out of the camera right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. He put his balls in my mouth. I also bought Wild Arms XF. I don't know. I still can't get the name right. XF. I don't know. I have other Wild Arms games and I need to play them. But XC makes some decent stuff. Plus, I have, plus even if it's not really the best of games, it still looks pretty. Because anime art style looks pretty compared to real life stuff. Because waifus never hurt me. Alright, I'm going to push through this. Uh, these games were at G's table called Pop Music 1 and 2 Portable. I had to look up their region free that it was, so I bought these. I pretty much got these games for me because they're what I bought them. How can I forget the most beautiful cartridge I bought there at Retro Circuit? Mega Man X Collection, which it's a nice red, 6 and 1. You got Sigma here, and you got 0, and you got X there. They're really one of the best looking cartridges I have seen there. Beautiful. There's like 110, but it does have 6 games in 1. X1, X2, X3, 7, Soccer, and Mega Man Bass. Very cool. I love it the way it looks. But we're gonna put the rest of these games out here just so you can see what the creme de la creme would be. So our Chiefs table. We got a few more things. Uh, I got Jack 2. Jack and Daxter, the what the fuck that is. The precursor legacy. PlayStation 2. First, I'll finish up my Jack collection for PS2. I got Jack 3, Jack Combat Racing X, and then whatever that other one was called. And next, I picked up Dragon Ball Z Budokai because for some strange reason I never had this game. I had a Game Boy version. I grew up with the PlayStation 2, I just didn't have it. So, got Pokemon uh, Battle Revolution, Poke Park, uh, Pikachu's Adventures, and Poke Park 2, uh, Wonders Beyond. Speaking of Chief and Wii, I got the Blob 1 and 2 for the Wii's. Very Those nice are very games. good games. I've heard good, I've heard interesting things about them. I, the, I enjoy them. I'm pretty sure they're both on, on the Switch, but well, they are. they're cheaper on the Wii anyway, so. Very chill game. Easy to play. Yeah. Okay. And then, also at Chief's Table, I picked up Saint Row 1 and 2 because, for some reason, this is only Xbox exclusive. It wasn't released on anything else. Saint Row 2 was released on other things, but 
this one? No. So I was like, yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. I already had three and four played them. I need to do it one and two and see how rough it's going to be because trying to play the PC port of this on Steam is kind of ugly. And I forgot that I actually picked a few things up before the convention that I forgot to see until now. And that's Sonic Freeriders for the, the Xbox 360 with the Shitty Connect. Remember when the Connect was being trying to be forced in the Xbox One? And I forgot what store we were at for that, but the same store I picked up Dead Rising 2 and Little Big Planet. I may or may not already have Dead Rising 2, but I probably do because I'm an idiot, but it's fine. I can just give that to someone if I do. And I got Little Big Planet 1. I don't know. I need to buy them. I need to find Little Big Planet 2, which they have there. Realistically, I probably should have checked my Dead Rising 2, but that's neither here nor there. I picked up Blades X. I picked this up was because our friend Captain Psychopath reviewed it and they said it's it's man. I think it's funny to buy a game he reviewed. Apparently. Go check out Captain Psychopath. He makes some Here. very wholesome minus the W videos. Wholesome, yes. Yeah, you can see the difference between the old PlayStation 3 cases. This one does have that. This one has uh, actually there. Hey, if you look at the actual spines, one has a red logo says PS3 and the other one actually says PS3. And there you go, it's it's neat having old games and new games for that. NBA Ballers chosen one. Uh, I don't know why. It's not Maximilian Dude and Friends. They are new video games once for Steve's birthday. I was like, oh this game looks weird so why not? I'm pretty sure this game was also on there too, NBA Street Home Court. Yeah they, they did some stuff for his birthday and he's like, oh you just put these games in place. And I'm like, okay. They look terrible. Not as good as the old ones, but it's fine. It's fine. I got this at G's table. Super Sonic All-Stars Racing Transform Tennis uh, Edition Mario Kart Craft. Um, Jordan wanted to buy a Pro Controller. He said he needs them to bundle together, so he bought me Ninja Guy and Sigma. That is the last Ninja Guy in the game I needed to buy from these old ones. So, down there. And then we got Blitz the Elite 2. I originally watched uh, someone head the VOD, so Jermis played through this, and I watched it at work, and I was like, man, this game's funny. I wasn't wanting to buy it anyways, but a bit pricey, but it is what it is. And now I'll it so I can play through it. And last but not least, we got Street Fighter the Anniversary Collection, which has Street Fighter 3 Third Strike and Street Fighter the Anniversary Collection, which I'm pretty sure this just mixes a bunch of the Street Fighter 2 together. At least they do have the Capcom Collection that they released. It might be the same, might not be, I don't know. But Third Strike is, uh, keeps. I keep hearing very good things about it. I wasn't very liked when it came out because it was different and weird. And then it gained cult following, and now it's called like one of the best Street Fighter games of all time. So, last but not least, we picked something up that uh, Chiefs panel. Well, actually, before I get to that, I forgot there's a nice thing over here. I was like, wait, I didn't know. I bought something else from Chief because he got Chief. Then I didn't get stuff from Chief, but I got a few other things. Got Pack My World Repack. I wanted to buy it because Pack My World's pods. I'm tired of Goose Game. Game's funny as hell, and I want it only physically. Pokemon Mystery Judge and Rescue Team DX. I don't know. I keep hearing good things about this series. I want to give it a try. And then, the, Neil, the world ends with you because I had the first game and I haven't played it, so I might as well pick this up. Plus 35 brand new. That's pretty pods. Speaking of propaganda of Gen 4 of one of one Mango Chan, oh. we got Pokemon Platinum and Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Or Heart Gold, not Soul Silver. Pokemon Platinum. Legit cards that we checked in. This one definitely has somebody's childhood on it. This one not so much. Pretty sure they transfer it over to yeah. Platinum or whatever. But yeah, I actually did play Platinum when I was going through my Pokemon stuff emulated. So it's nice to have this physical. And then yeah, when I play through Gen 2, I can try this and see like where everyone keeps everyone say like these two games go to with the sauce top ten, like top five Pokemon games of all time. Now about this stuff. That's not Chief's table. That's not Chief's table, remember. I got Game and Watch Gallery 4 to play in Box for 55 because I don't know. I just think it looks cool. But that's my guy on there boxing, so that's neat. And the WrestleMania 2000 to play in Box for Game Boy Color because 25 was like, yeah, sure. Not a good game, but something regardless and less. Now, when I mentioned Chief, everyone got remembered. Oh, yeah, I didn't show this off yet. The last thing I said, I wanted to play a game. But it's there, I'll pick it up. We got there, there before we left. And it was still there, so that was Team Sonic. Or Sonic Battle. Not uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, just Sonic Battle for the Game Boy Advance. I don't know, it looks like a four player smash that has things like, of all things, on like Game Boy Advance. It's weird. And last but not least, I picked this up and Jordan and Marino are gonna pitch it in about Pokemon uh, Johto Photo Finish and Slash ET 
playing with fire. It has combustion, I think that's the thing on there. Blaze again, well, combustion huh. must be true from then. Charizard and Blaze again. So this is probably set in like Gen 3 era. Oh yeah, I got this certain NES guidebook finally after meeting about it. Signed by Pat, the NES punk himself. Right here is the signature in silver. Now you might be wondering, why did I buy this after meeting about it? Hulk is like, oh, this is like a limited, this, this red one with the glowing thing is a limited edition. Only 500 were printed off. But that's what it normally looks like. This is red. Oh, it's normally, it's 500, less than 500, or 500 or so remains. I'm like, yeah, I guess I'll buy it then, bug it. If I want something rare, I might as well get it. So yeah, that's everything. I promise I'm done. That is everything. Hey. Hey. Sauce. Go to the sauce, and I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Another successful Russian food. Yeah. The best pickup, huh? I don't really know. I guess if I had to pick one, it's hard to say because I really like a lot of these pickups. If I had to like pick like a, a top something, I'm just judging, try and go through because I wasn't like. Shit, my fans excited over like I'm excited. We are wrong. I'm excited a lot of this stuff. I'm just trying to look through all this like stuff here. I want to see what's what. If I had to, you know, take a gander and say what what, I'd probably have to say be a tie either between like this Mega Man X collection or this po a legit Pokemon Crystal because I got my favorite Pokemon game. And the art's just fucking cool on this. Thank you. I hope you save that or I can check when I get home. Thank y'all for watching and tuning in. This turned out a lot more smoother, I'd feel, than my other one. I wasn't dying. So it's good. Yeah, so. Go to with the sauce. I'll probably take some pictures of the finish off, so. Not to take the finish off the video. I'm probably just gonna take some pictures because I have it. 